the arc of going back to Earth, and there's a lot of politics and interesting stuff that's happening there. We're finally back beyond the gate, and we're on an isekai world, and the main thing is Pina has realized we cannot compete with these humans. Modern Warfare is way too much. We cannot win. So now her goal is to go to the Emperor and convince him, yo, this shit is impossible. But the Emperor is very interesting. From the beginning, he knew he couldn't win. From the beginning, he was basically shitting on the people beneath them so that they could not revolt and overtake it. So I'm really wondering what the Emperor's end goal is. Let's begin today's reaction. Five months has passed. Whoa. Is all this gonna develop into like a really prosperous nation? This is gonna be like the most advanced city then. Wouldn't the Emperor start to get worried that like a new nation is forming, right? With these modern advances in technology? Wait, hold up a second. This is gonna be kind of dangerous for him. Pinacolada. Mm, Sugara Koji, we got an envoy. The Emperor wouldn't be stupid enough to assassinate Koji, right? The, this, this envoy guy. Could you imagine? Well, you know what? If I was someone that, like, the Emperor probably wouldn't, but, like, if I was somebody that knew that the Emperor, like, like for example, there's a, a bunch of smaller kingdoms, right? A bunch of smaller, like, nobles that's, like, um, basically, like, uh, that got fucked by the Emperor. If I was one of them, if I knew that the Emperor was intentionally doing this, I might try to assassinate this guy and try to pin it on the Emperor to make it such that the modern morpher would then land on the Emperor. You know what I mean? That's what I would try to do. Secret negotiations. I haven't... Oh! oh, oh. Wow. Does this count as a Hotspring episode? Not really. This is a, just a bass scene. <laughs> <laughs> Ass completely covered by hair. Okay. Prisoners for one. <laughs> Pina's health actually collapsing, or is she just too distracted? Oh, Dark Elf! Dark Elf! New waifu? Bald. 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 This is the nobles? Oh, Pina, new style. And this is our envoy, right? La Martos. So, Martos clan has been one of the Empire's most important families throughout this history, as in he's basically a big threat then, because anyone that's kind of too big under the Emperor, right, they are potential, you know, threats that could take over. Influence in the snake? Okay, we gotta get rid of him then. That's what the Emperor would think. Bald. Imperial faction to wipe out barbarians. So this is basically the pro-emperor alliance. So the anti-emperors, right? They basically, the anti-imperial faction wants to ally with, you know, human, like, um, Earth people, Japan, and they want to create peace. But the, you know, pro-empire faction, they're like, nah, those fucking monkeys with modern warfare, they're, they're bar 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 barbarians. But it's like, how the fuck are we barbarians? How the, how the fuck are we the barbarians, bro? You're, you're the barbarians, bro! Y'all don't even got fucking toilet paper here! <laughs> That wife is... She eating well. She eating well. The husband is feeding her properly. Pretty cool. They got anime. Water? They have water? Are they looking down on us? What? Are you- are you serious? This- the, oh, Look at the 
look. Look, look at the way that she made a face, dude. Water? Oh, Ah, oh, yo. These monkeys think that we're actually monkeys. Yo, they think that they're better than us. Oh, you have water? Bro, you don't even have fucking toilet paper here. <laughs> He's actually laughing in front of us. Oh, okay. Oh, the blade. Nippon steel. That's right. Nippon steel, number one. Oh, now they suddenly changed their attitude once they show the sword. Beyond the gates. Yeah, if, if, if only you could persuade us to, you know, stop the war. Okay, alright, we baited them. Alright, we baited them. Y'all might get assassinated. Nephew. The nephew is a prisoner of war. Well, they can't. So, we're using, using the nephew to like. Hold up. Why would the emperor give a fuck about the nephew? I thought that we might be using the nephew back in Japan as a prisoner of war to say if you kill, you know, the envoy, we're gonna kill the nephew too. But would the emperor give a fuck? Okay. Basically, it's not really to, it's not to like um, make the emperor work with us, it's to make this guy work with us. That makes more sense. If you don't, we kill the nephew. Don't tell me we have more prisoners of war from other important families that we can use to kind of, you know, use as leverage. Was that an actual cat person? What the fuck? You see this? That's an actual cat walking on all fours. Have we seen other... Have we ever... We don't really know other races exist here. Right? I just assume that there's like elves and... Basically a bunch of people role-playing like they're fucking part of a toga in the Roman Empire. But it's like... Is this just an easter egg? Is, is this an easter egg? I, I don't know. The maid. The maid was like a... But the maid was like an actual cat girl, right? Yeah. She wasn't just full on cat. This is just full on cat. This is an actual furry. Maybe it's a fursuit. Damn, she's strong. You see that blush? You see, you see Itami blush there? Pop! 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 Nice jiggle. Itami. Itami. Look at that. Look at that blush. Even the fucking, you know, even the sergeant beside me is like, mm, maybe I should join in too. Ain't no way you're fucking smacking your ass right now. My butt is too good for the likes of... Did you try to fucking grope her? Was this actually assaulting her? Uh, why, why are you wasting your ass is too good for it? Did he try to grab it? Who are you on the left? Wait. I forget who she is? Who is she? I'm playing, I'm playing nice. Magic Burb. Prisoner from Metallica. Gotcha, gotcha. Burb girl. Tuka looking for her dad. Oh no! It is a man. Please, no! Someone tell her that. Ah, how do we handle this, dude? I hope we just ignore it. I hope we just ignore it and never address it in season one. And and like hopefully this gets hammered in season two because like I don't want to dedicate an entire episode of just confronting Tuka about her dead dad. That's gonna be so fucking sad. I hope we can just forget about it. Please, please save me. Oh yeah. Also, wasn't it kind of mentioned that Tuka and her, like, there's some, like, Yuri romance going on, right? Like, she, she and her, there was a little bit of some friction, some spice going between before, a couple episodes ago, right? <laughs> Guys, we're not gonna kill Tuka so she can meet her dad in the afterlife. <laughs> yeah, Tuka, your dad's dead. Get over it. What are we gonna do? 
So you can't tell Tuka, hey, bitch, your dad's dead. Get over it. Move on with your life. That's too mean. It's too mean. So maybe we can, like, um, Itami can dress up as Tuka's dad. And then we, it, we can enact a play where it's like Tuka's dad has come back from the afterlife to, you know, um, visit Tuka and tell her that, listen, you know, things have happened. I'm gone in the afterlife now and you have to move on without me. And then, and then, and then, and then that's how we solve this. I don't know. We, we saw the dark elf though, right? We saw the dark elf in the beginning of today's episode. So maybe she'll somehow, I don't know, go there and be like, bitch, your dad's dead. Move on. I don't fucking know, man. So あ、ディリーバー。ごめんなさい、責任を持てないのなら。It's Maybe that's uh just leaving them alone is like better, right? It's it's more cruel to like not being able to finish what you started. No, I love her. She's my favorite character in the uh, in the girls of the here. Hey, Kuribai, she's still around, but god damn it. That's how old Tuka is, right? Or is it how old she is? Isn't she supposed to turn into a god at the age of 1,000? Mmm, you're, you're being even more cold than me. Yeah? Is the Rory Mercury one all that? What did she say? What did she say? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Girls are happier when they're the only one you're nice to. And that might be true. But if you look at her phone, you're not the only nice person in her phone, bro. There's like 20 other dudes in line all saying the same nice shit. And the girls really like it to have a... It's like insurance, huh? It's like, um, it's nice knowing that there's so many guys that's always in line waiting to simp for them. And yes, obviously they monopolize the guy's attention. But it's like there's like 30 other dudes just waiting. Just waiting to like don't... Bend over for a girl, guys. Have some self-respect, right? Have some self-respect. Don't just fucking simp and just bend over for girls. Because if you don't respect yourselves, the girls will not respect you. Mm. Sure. That is the climax of life. She sounds like she wants to, like, climax when she's, like, you know, making love and just die at that moment. That would be, like, the most climactic, you know, pleasurable experience possible. <laughs> Drunk Rory Mercury is fun, though. I know you don't care. <laughs> Dark Elf! Jesus, you're making a scene here. So... <laughs> it's underage drinking right now for Reloading Mercury. <laughs> you care about that? Really? She's a lot more righteous than I thought she would be. Is this really happening? Uh, is this a dream? What is going- Ah, oh, she's plotting her- No, oh, 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 oh. We're just taking your boots off. What are you- What are you doing? <laughs> these- These moans are so deadly, bro. Okay, that's what she wanted to do. That was her entire plan. Gotcha, gotcha. End her. Don't worry about it, Yoji. Yauha Dusi. You're three times older than her. Also, yeah, I thought everyone in this world kind of knew Rory Mercury, right? Everybody like worships her. She's like a fucking oracle, a priest, some kind of almost like demigod, right? She is a demigod. But this Dark Elf doesn't know. Maybe it's like a territorial thing. She comes from a place where like, you know, her whatever her cult is not as, you know, supreme. 
daughter of Dehan, DC clan, green people, military people, you know, our suits. No, we're not getting a girl. It looks kind of bad though, huh? It looks kind of bad though, huh? Like, to any outsider that doesn't know what Rory Mercury is about, it does look like a, an old adult is grooming a child into underage drinking to take advantage. It does kind of seem like that. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Why is Itami getting shit for this? She's the one ruining this. Itami didn't do anything. What? She's such a shit disturber, bro. Oh my god. Oh, that design though. What a mischievous demigod. <laughs> Thank you for saving us from, you know, the predator. <laughs> yeah, what are you here for, bro? What are you, what are you doing? Yo, you had the green people. You pissed off. Oh. Oh, Meia. あ、ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。
今は飽和派を増やすのに専門What's Itami now going off to? Are we gonna go meet more people from the Empire? To the capital. The capital, like the actual Emperor? I'm sorry, girl. She came all the way here for help. And most likely, Itami is the one that needs to be able to help her. But now we're just like, we're just leaving her. <laughs> she came all the way here, and Itami's like. <laughs> Bye bye. We're going to the Emperor. Bye. We'll see you in a couple episodes. <laughs> see what do you mean? Just wait. You're the one that's gonna be waiting. Thank God, the person that you needed help, you drew a sword on him. Now he's leaving. What? All right, all right. Next time. And that's the episode. Hey, it seems like we're starting a new arc where the focus is trying to convince the Emperor that you know the green people, you know, we should not be starting war. So there's like two factions. The Imperial faction, which is like pro-Emperor and fuck the Barbarians, even though how the fuck are we the Barbarians? And there's everyone else that seems to be like, hey, maybe there's like, you no know, alliances that we could have and we should try to have like a peacekeeping mission, right? So who knows how that's going to work out according to the Emperors because the Emperor's endgame, I don't know, he's a very fascinating character. I have no idea what's going on in his head, but it's going to be very interesting to see how things play out. Chuka plotline with Dead Dad keeps getting hinted more and more, and I'm like, ah, oh, oh, I just don't know what to do with her, man. Like, part of me, again, wishes that we don't have to, you know, resolve this this season, because I know it's going to be very depressing and sad, and it's like, you know, it's because season two's not even out, uh, why don't we just delay it for season two, right? So maybe, maybe we should just fucking delay it to season two so that I don't have to fucking face that bullshit, bro, but someone's gotta tell her. Someone's gotta tell her that dad's dead, but it's like, shit, if you're not gonna do it, don't even start it, right? Itami had a very good line of like, don't finish, you know, don't start something you can't finish, right? That's more cruel, right? Uh, and then the Dark Elf? So she seems to maybe be connected to the Chuka, you know, uh, what's it called, um, storyline? Only because they're elves. And it's a totally different elf, too. So maybe I'm capping. Maybe she has no part in the dead dad plot. And it's all about, you know, slaying the fire dragon. And if we slay the fire dragon, maybe the emperor will then be like, holy shit, these guys are actually not barbarians. They're fucking cracked. And maybe we're going to go down that way and we'll ignore the dead dad stuff. You know, why the fuck would Rory Mercury do this, though? She just, like, she fucks Itami. Not in the way that she wants to. It's not even his fault. The, 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 this elf comes up and basically says, your under is drinking. And then this girl basically cock blocks Rory Mercury. And then she turns on us. Why are you doing this? She's just fucking us for no reason other than being a mischievous little lolly. But I guess it is what it is. Now, next episode, maybe we'll handle the fire dragon stuff. No, we're not because we pretty much left her. We're going to the emperor's capital to talk to him. It's going to be very interesting to see how the emperor... Will talk to us but that's it for me if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care